Hello, I'm Karen Ferreira from Times of India with the fabulous cast of Oskian, a drama series examining the tragic events in Paris in 1986 that led to the death of Malik. Uh, so, hello all. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you for speaking with us. Uh, can you all introduce yourselves and the characters you play for our Indian audience? Sorry. Hi, I'm Malik Lamari. I played uh, Ben Amarusikin. Uh, Malik's uh, brother. Hi, I'm Muna Solem. I'm playing uh, the role of Sarah Usekin, one of Malik's sister. Hi, uh, I'm Saeed al Ami, and uh, I play Malik Usekin. Hi, I'm Tufik Jalab. I play uh, <laughs> one <laughs> Usekin, uh, Malik's brother. <laughs> they, 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 they're laughing at me because they love my accents. <laughs> We just no worry. It. It's not against you. It's you, against me. You've seen it in the first episode, I think. Uh, hi, I'm Nidra Ayadi, and I played the Fatna Usekin, the oldest sister. Okay, so now that we have you all, one happy family, happy siblings together. Yeah. Uh, how did you prepare for your characters, and uh, what made this experience special for you all on a personal level? Obviously, we all kind of heard of the story somehow in different ways because we're also not from the same generation. Uh, for my part, I've heard about it, but not as much as I know now, obviously. Um, I knew of this, you know, plague you have in the street in the 20 Rue Monsieur le Prince where Malik uh, died. This plague saying that he died during uh, demonstrations and I knew that this plague didn't say the whole truth. That's what I really knew from... from uh, from the story, um, but then reading the pilot, uh, talking with Antoine a lot, who's in contact with the family, with the lawyers of the family, with uh, so many people who were um, uh, actors in this tragedy somehow. Uh, we talked a lot and also on a personal level, I had to do research, you know, everything that I could find on internet, in the media, the way that the media treated the story uh, is also something that um, uh, helped me understand more how this family was used uh, by the media and for political reasons. And that's something, for example, that I didn't know uh, as much as I know now. Oh, and also, sorry, yes. the question of uh, yes, I, I think personally the, also. The, I was very, very young when I heard about uh, the Manik's death. Um, um, I think it's the first time I, I felt, you know, uh, vulnerable, you know, I, I, as I felt, uh, um, I thought I was French, like, uh, like uh, my friend, but it's the first time I felt I am, I'm Arabic, you know, <laughs> it's the, 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 it's the memories of that, me, the first time I've heard about Malik Usikin's death is, uh, yes, it's. I, I remember it's uh, this feeling, feeling of, uh, of uh, yes, on even. Uh, I, 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 vulnerable, yeah, vulnerable. yes. Um, I feel my vulnerability as a, as a French, but but uh, with a, <coughs> with a, um, another origin. Were you skeptical? Any of you skeptical while taking on this project? You know about portraying these real life people and everything mm. that came with them. Was there any moment that uh, you all were reluctant or were you all eager to take up this this part? Well, the, the director, uh, Antoine, um, uh, had um, in, exposed us, in fact, the, 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 the story and they, they, he told us that um, he will introduce us the family, the members of the family who are still alive, uh, the brothers and the sisters. And uh, it was the main element for us as an yeah. actors and actresses um, to play in this uh, miniseries, um, to have um, the validity of uh, the family and the uh, approbation, the permission, the permission of the family uh, was the first step to get into the the process and, and the series. So. We wouldn't do it if we didn't have the permission of the family. It was the, the main thing at the, the beginning of the, the project. Yes, because all the story is about that. 
is about the testimony of this family, uh, the, the fact to, to give them uh, the right to to to, exp to, to explain the their their yeah. their pain, their feeling, their their the unfair, the uh, that. And and you talked of uh, being reluct reluctant reluctant. I don't know how you say. Uh, but there's a, it's a question that uh, we are being told a lot about responsibility mm -hmm. and and if it was uh, if we were stressed about it or whatever. And the thing that we say the most is that when you are introduced to such a project, you have a responsibility, of course, but then this responsibility is shared by everyone, which is us, Antoine, and all of the technical crew, the producers, everybody. So also on this project, something amazing that happened is the unity in between us and that we felt also because we had the family with us and who came, who really guide us through because they were there with us a lot. Um, we had this, this, you know, this this feeling of being validated and that we could now just go for it you know yeah. and and defend the story and uh give memory to this historical part of the french history that is not being told enough uh, so this brings me to my next question uh how was it working with with your director antoine and uh you know how did he maintain the balance between telling this uh, the truth of this family story and also taking uh, the world, uh, like the world audience into this darker side of French history. Like usually it's all romance and city of <laughs> yeah. romance and Paris for us, but this is like the first time we are getting to see something else. So what mm. was that like working with him? I think it's universal, you know, uh, uh, lose a, a child or a brother, in these circumstances, it's it's this pain. It's universal. The mother, when she 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 loses his son uh, like that, we can only um, understand. understand and feel what she what she could feel. So I think it's the the yes. I think it's it's the you know the. Come on, the la, la réussite, the success. the success of this uh, show. Also, Antoine was so good in reunited us because yeah. we really became a whole family, <laughs> and I think it also helped us. I mean, we can all talk uh, personally of it, but we all felt like you know, <laughs> losing a brother, seeing our mother losing a son. There's something that uh, united us a lot. So y'all seem like a fun bunch, but your uh, time on set was very intense and emotional. Uh, how did y'all go about shooting those scenes? And who was the one who brought comic relief on set, like to lighten the mood? Everyone. I think everyone. Yeah, I think everyone. we needed to laugh a lot. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, everyone. I think this guy. Uh, yeah. No, not really, but you know, um, <laughs> no, they, they made that a lot. really means yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but the, you know when you play a drama like as intense as a, in Usekin, um, you need to laugh on the set because <laughs> it's the only moment that we can, um, you know, uh, be you. a little bit more light because it's so powerful. And uh, Antoine is so um, exigent um, Ridiculous and, precise. Yeah. and precise that um, he, 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 we had to to hide from Antoine sometimes uh, <laughs> in small rooms to make jokes uh, just between us. Yes. And the, it was like you played with a cat and a mouse, you know, and he was <laughs> looking after us, like looking if we were la not laughing too much. But it was really, it was really nice because in fact, it could, it, it, it helped us mm -hmm. when we had those scenes. Yeah. Uh, intense scenes, like really uh, stressful sometimes, um, to be real and uh, yes. and to to to, to be uh, ready to really uh, dive in. dive mm -hmm. into it. And so to great links. Yeah, and us. and you know, brothers and sister, we yeah. make love, we make jokes, and we had to create this link between us, and it was really yeah. important. So we laughed. And we 
cried <laughs> a little bit. A lot. <laughs> but also such a, you know, such a project demands so much focus from yeah. everybody. And this was really also our main road uh, mm -hmm. because Antoine works so much in details. You know, he knows, we all know the context, we all know the situation. And then to lift it up, it's all about details with him, uh, which was really really amazing mm. for us to discover also the sensibility in him as a director. He's mm. very sensitive uh, concerning uh, directing actors, you know, so that was really a pleasure. Even <coughs> this uh, charge we had, the emotional charge and the, the, um, the demanding of, you know, the focus we had to have, he was super there with us. Uh, so uh, your show touches upon so many important uh, subjects. You know, you have identity, immigrants, uh, racism, terrorism, and even uh, conversion to some extent. Uh, what conversations do you hope uh, your show will start? I hope that through memory, we can bring a kind of justice, you know, by remembering what happened, by knowing uh, what was happening back in the days and that is still happening today. And uh, maybe was that's uh, the purpose of art, I think. Yes. So um, and yeah, and everyone can talk about it and see. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can learn from it. About uh, you bringing this uh, story of the victim to the big screen and how you, on your personal level, uh, you know, brought him out the best way you could. You you cannot get into a, a project like this without respect. And this is the first thing that uh, mm -hmm. uh, Antoine, the director, uh, told us. We we needed uh, respect, and uh, we stole their story, uh, you Once. know, back in the days, yeah. and we couldn't stole Do again, again. Yeah. Uh, their story. It was impossible. We we had to be really um, um, aware and careful and mm -hmm. uh, and very. Uh, respectful in fact and and i hope people will see that and um need to be humble that's that's all in fact yes it's to bring them back their story yeah and i just wanted to say something uh, because i was i was i was speaking about learning and me by doing it i learned something which is the justice of one is a justice of all yeah that's it that's it. <laughs> I see. Yeah. That's it. There's also uh, just a line of uh, <laughs> one of the writers of the series, Fazegin, <laughs> who wrote in her novel, uh, The Discretion. She said at some point, one of her characters says, when there's not much left, honor has its uh, importance. And this is also something I think that uh, drives us through. Mm. Uh, so this also comes just after the whole Black Lives Matter, the mm. whole movement. Uh, so uh, how do you hope this uh, show will, you know, keep that, uh, keep his, uh, Malik's memory alive and also, you know, uh, encourage people to take a more uh, just part and speak up, whether it's the, the system or, uh, you know, even politicians or even taking on the media? I think this show made me like remember the the when they see us show. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, watched it by Ava Duvernay, Ava Duvernay. and the one Detroit by uh, Catherine Bigelow. Mm -hmm. uh, Detroit. Detroit, yeah. And uh, I hope it will resonate. And uh, and there's you know just forget about it. no no say, say, no no, no say. I I forgot what I wanted to say. Continue. <laughs> I don't. Anyway. I think I just want that show to resonate the same way uh, Detroit and when they see us resonated, because are in the same kind of uh, you know subject and you know. Again, it's to put lights on stories that are not told enough, and especially in the art space, and especially in France now, for example, where as you said, that's not it's not the kind of series you've seen a lot. Uh, and to 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 accept this this darkness of our is history and not to avoid it, to be able to talk about it because this is also what art is about, to open uh, doors that are not opened by the medias or the 
politics. Yes, you know? and, 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 and we know it, uh, it, it exists, uh, you know, um, uh, this, this fact and the, 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 those sort of crimes, but, but I think with, with our art, I, I hope we, we, can, we can give another answer and, uh, and another justice. But because the the unfortunately the the the, the, the stories can 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 uh, resonate yes, yes can it resonate and, and can um, uh, you know how there will there be, will be other the, it, yes there will be other story like that but we have to to give another uh, answers and another justice but because it's a story of injustice and when when there is injustice. Uh, there will be violence. Finally, uh, can you share some of your best moments on set and uh, maybe a message to all the Indian audience? I think we yeah. only had one scene all together, together. Yeah. the whole family with the mother and all, all of her together, kids. Together. Uh, that is a flashback <laughs> in the fourth episode. And uh, it, was, it was crazy for us. It was our last scene of the day and we had a very full Long day, day. Uh, and very emotional day. And I think it was also one of the last scenes in the apartment. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was even more emotional for us. Um, and it's really maybe one of the scenes where we could laugh that much together. And I think Antoine didn't, you know, like he was torn in between letting us do what we were doing because this is the life and the joy that this family had. We have to remember that they were family like any other. So they were loved, they were, uh, you know, they were, they were really bonded. But also, I think he was thrown with also the fact of getting us, you know, more disciplined. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. At, at, at the beginning, he, he told us that uh, we could improve uh, a little bit, and uh, after five minutes, he told us like, "Stop doing your improv. <laughs> Stop it."